hours of richly informative shows. Martha, no! I wondered, what could we do with all of these tapes? So, Martha, any people breathing? Ah! The very best solution... Throw it into the dump. ...was to give these tapes to my daughter, Alexis. Ah! Don't ever do that again. And her friend, Jennifer. I'm used to dealing with people like you. To see what they can come up with. Ooh. <laughs> Do you think your mom's gonna be mad at us? I hope so. <laughs> this is called Study Carol, and I'm wondering if it has to do with Christmas carols or mnemonics to learn something. Maybe there's a song. Maybe attached. there's a lady named Carol. I'm Carol. That was a thing on Saturday Night Live. Oh. <laughs> Carol who? I'm Carol. She's just. A fat trunk. It was just who was played by a man. It oh. was sensational. <laughs> Carol. <laughs> anyway, I don't have high hopes for this being as entertaining as Saturday Night Live. Studying Carol. <laughs> no, that's yeah. As I was telling Jake Jaluka, my young friend over here, it's never. Too Jake's early like, to listen, Martha, we're not, we're not really friends. friends. <laughs> Are you a good student? Yes. Good. Have you ever had a little study carol like this before? No. No, and I don't want one. <laughs> right. I haven't missed a thing. Jake has a brother, Brett, and a little sister, Claire. Claire, who's so cute. But she's. But Brett's not cute. Brother Brett's just the brother, but sister is she's cute. She's special. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is a little carol that can, you can put right on the dining room table like this. Oh, it's a privacy thing. Oh. This is, we've run out of things to make on the television show. Somebody think of something. <laughs> yeah. Think it's a good idea? Yep. And it can be made right out of a free box like Look, this. he's looking around like, what did I get myself into? They promised me cookies. They promised me I'd bake. And look, I'm here making a freaking cardboard carol. Oh, uh, you have to get one the right size. And we have a template right on the website at MarthaStewart.com. You can buy... I'm going to have something that says hot drink cups. ...display board like this. This costs $7. Or you can buy some big pieces of cardboard. We got enough cardboard to cut two of these for three dollars and fifty cents um so it's uh, at the ups store so uh you can so you have to get in your car drive to the ups store you need one of those cutting boards you need a giant ruler 18 inches you have to be good at geography geometry crap i'm not good at either everything is on a map of the world do you know the world are you pretty good at geography Sort not really. of good. Okay. <laughs> I will test you later. Oh, I, he just I, said he's not so good. So she's going to test him to prove it? To prove that he can't do it? Humiliate the child. Yeah, just watch <laughs> the. We're going to make this one for your brother, okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to make this for Brett, the one who's not cute. going to slice this off, and we're working on a cutting board. Because this is, look, look I can do it like that. Do you see? This yeah. is a sharp, sharp cutter, and it doesn't do anything. It's so not, try it on your skin, yeah. boy. <laughs> Oh. Is Claire a good student? Yeah, and she loves homework. She does? And she's so cute. And then, to make the folds, that's the easy thing with a thing called a bone folder. You see, now watch. Martha is obsessed yes. with this bone folder. This bone it's folder's her life. It's the most bizarre thing. It's her favorite tool ever. I'm totally going to ask her the next time I see her if she's got a bone folder lying around that I could have. What do you think she'll say? Oh, oh. And there's so many. Get a bone folder for Jennifer. Yes, a she whole needs, bag of bone folders. Everyone folders. needs a bone folder. Board. We want to do the tape all the way around the entire carol. We have... Oh, that wasn't good. Did you see how she put the yeah, tape on that Yeah, she totally one? put it on correctly. Yeah. And then the big rubber bands are very handy. These come from Staples. These are about $2 for 24 of these gigantic bands. And these are not for this, right? No, they're no. not for shooting. No, no shooting. We have bigger rubber bands for shooting. <laughs> Fantastic little carol. So the thumbtacks are flat, they don't poke out. This Big sort of thing would be used, a bunch of them in my basement, as forts. And, and then shoot knock each them down, shooting. shoot each other, throw things at them. Those would be the block, like... Yeah, and you shoot it's a shield. Go, so have a, have a good, good year, Jake. Thanks. And We're done here, Jake. Bye. He's like, thank God. You can say, keep out, Claire. <laughs> there you are. 
they were really digging at the bottom of the barrel trying to find I think so. something, something to, do. to do on TV. We've got this kid coming in. Think of something. <laughs> Just do it. Yeah, my kids would laugh at me if I took that and said, kids, we're going to make study carols today. They'd be like, huh? They'd be like, what? No, we're not. I'm going to watch SpongeBob. <laughs> I'm done. Shut up, Alexis. I don't want to hear it. Uh, there. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you go? I'm finding a book. I'm bored. Fishing lures. Fluorescents are not really in fashion. They're not, but they're fun, and we're making uh, the wallet. Which, Duct tape wallet? Yeah, which, what's the point of that, really? Um, oh, I know. It's, it's waterproof. I'm just trying to figure out how much you could spend on a wallet rather than buy four things of duct tape. <laughs> I don't know. Etc. But this would be a waterproof, so if you were going boating. So get away from me. You're gonna try and put Just it on my mouth? For a sec. I no. wanna shut you up for a minute. No, I'm gonna put it on your eyeballs. I was with a couple of young teenagers over the weekend, and I was quite what shocked. What was she doing with them? And according to the boys, was that duct tape wallets, everybody wants one, and you can make them. Everybody wants one? Nobody wants so one, but they're cute. This is really like a little girl thing to do. I think little boys would make it. Teenage boys? No, God, no, no, no. Sticky side up. And I anchored it with two little pieces at the end so that it's not slipping. Okay. So then halfway down, you lay your next piece and you fold over your top one. So I still want to know what the conversation with the boys was really about. That Martha was I think having. she's making it up. Yeah, you need to keep flipping back and forth so you're sticking the sticky sides together. Oh, I see. A little, a little bit. bit over, overlap, so you're not exposing the sticky. So what we're uh oh, doing I did it wrong. Shoot, no, 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 no. And having your, it goes quickly. your pieces pre cut, it goes much faster. Oh, much faster. This can be handy if you're going boating with the teenage boys. When they start talking about duct tape, you can whip out your duct tape wallet and be like, look, I'm so cool, boys, hang with me. Yeah. Then they'll find out how far they can swim at that point. <laughs> you should line this up so it's square, right? Eight and a half by three and three quarters. Now, would Martha ever in real life do this? Yeah. No. Why? She might pretend she liked it for a couple days. But then you just never see it again. It about so slice one side and then. Okay, how long? Eight. Eight and a half. Uh oh. So Shoot. Half. Wait, what'd you do? Half. No, that was wrong. Eight and a half wide. Eight and a half long. Three and a half inches wide. Oh down. wait, no, you're right. We have them on the boards differently. <laughs> Mine's vertical. Yours is horizontal. There you go. So stupid. So that's going to be our outside piece. Okay. And then we're doing some fun color okay. combinations. So this s one's been cut out, and that's eight and a half by three and a half. I'm done. Shut up, Alexis. I don't want to hear it. Three and three quarters, right? It has been cut down, and that's five by four. Three and, and okay. three quarters. And we're going to be All right, now I go to three and five uh, five there. <laughs> and we're going to be. Where'd you go? I'm going a book. I'm bored. Let's landscaping. Oh, away. Fishing lures, collectibles. Leave me alone. Three and three quarters. Look at all the cute lures. I'm going back down. They're really cute. <laughs> this lure is worth five hundred eight and a half to seven hundred and fifty dollars. I got it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Are you ready now? Yeah, I did it. Over. We have one more sheet that has been cut down, and we're going to be folding it at about three inches. I added a little detail to bring the whole thing together. If you know what Hosanna is doing, you're better than I am. See, she doesn't know either. Oh, shoot, I folded it over again. And then you fold it back up, and you'll see that they match. Like that? Exactly. Oh. Got it perfectly. Mine don't match. Right. So Look, it's completely backward. Fixing it. The next. So now we're going to start sealing it up, and I have a swap out for this. But this She's a swap out? Sealed. And you'll see that there's a little metal disc here. That's the magnet. If you're going to use any kind of credit cards in this wallet, you shouldn't use the magnet. Oh. Because so what are those, so what are those slots for? for? You your business it? card in duct tape? Wait, let me whip out my business card. Oh, <laughs> isn't it cute? <laughs> it's very professional. So okay. now you're ready to fold up the last flap. Oh, so and you... now you grab your magnet and you make sure that you've got the right side attracting to your opposite one. And then I have no just... idea what I'm doing. Let me see yours. 
You're doing fine. Did you hear how patronizing I just was? Yes, it's disgusting. You're doing a great job, Alexis. Really, Keep it Alexis. up. Keep up the good work. And I think one for Alexander, Gregory, and Ethan. Oh. And special. Oh, that one That's goes to clear. Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> for the man you really love, make him a wallet with a $100 bill inside so he can't possibly get the bill out, right? All right. OK. <laughs> Thanks very That's much. That's for somebody who loves That's funny. torturous. Okay. She just wasted a C you. note. A lot of fun and a very good use for duct tape. It's a waste Martha of a good Martha has a funny little sense of humor that way. OK. Look at that. Look you at are there. ready to make I got, friends with some 13-year-old boys. I'm going out on the town tonight. I'm going to bring my wallet, my pink wallet. Oh, God. It's so cool. Mine's not very pretty. Look, it's sad. It is sad. It's not great. It needs like two hundreds. Jazz it up. Yeah. Where's the credit card holders? They're invisible. <laughs> <laughs> I have invisible credit card holders. And my mom, she's 87 and in excellent condition. Excellent um, condition. Yeah. Like a piece of furniture. Yeah. For resale value. <laughs> I'm quite frightened now. Don't panic. Fitness corner. Fitness corners. Yeah. So I guess maybe people designate if you don't have a gym in your house, which most people don't. No. Maybe Martha is going to show us how we can put everything together, in the corner. Maybe a fitness corner. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Nobody puts baby in the corner. It's one of my very favorite <laughs> movies of all time. I love Dirty Dancing. Yeah. Wasn't there a corner on one of those television shows? Co it just sounds like cozy corner. Oh, like uh, the Magic Garden. Yes. That kind of thing. Yeah. But what was that horrible train on Mr. Rogers that went to that other place? I forget where that train went. It went somewhere to some neighborhood. That train would come around the bend. I was like, I'm out of here. <laughs> it was a magic land. Like, Here's the thing. <laughs> this is what I say to my children. If anybody tells it's you to get there's... on their magic train <laughs> that's going to take you to a magical place, you say yeah. no, yeah. you run, and you tell. <laughs> Well, you don't need to join a gym to be fit and healthy. Wow. With Look at Martha's satin jacket. Very inexpensive pieces of equipment. She's very members only, benefit. circa 1987. <laughs> and I spend each and every morning, as often as I'm able, with my trainer, Lisa Lynn, at my house using my own equipment. It seems she does do this, because just yesterday I was watching one of her recent shows, yeah. and she was going fast, Alexis, doing this move. Look, That's great. look at I, I can see you out of the corner of my eye. I try to stay in shape. And my mom, I give her every single piece of equipment that I use, she uses now. And she's 87 and in excellent condition. Excellent um, condition, yeah. like a piece of furniture. Yeah, uh, for resale value. <laughs> um, this is my f newest favorite item. It's a fitness circle, it's called. And I love to use this for upper body. It's great. My mother takes this thing, which is metal, by the way. Is you can get a plastic one. She takes it to Japan in her suitcase. Which is it's fascinating. unbelievable. And she never uses it. Well, she thinks it's going to work by osmosis. Yes, she puts it under her pillow. Of course. It really works out the entire body. Abdominals, too, benefit when you keep this between your legs. It's really a lot of fun. It's I so funny. I put it between my legs. In the bottom. I keep everything in a basket on my porch where I keep my canaries. And this beautiful... What do the canaries have to do with exercise? They're annoying, too, so they stay on the porch with the exercise equipment. I use this strap. So much fun to have a jump rope. This is a kind of fancy gym jump rope, but you can use any length of rope that fits your body. I want to see her jump rope. Yeah, me too, because I don't think she's ever <laughs> she jumped won't. rope. That would be too humiliating to do on camera. This is great for doing sit-ups, abdominal flattening exercises. Very good holding it in your hands again between your legs everything goes between your legs she likes things between her legs and then these are exercise equipment I lifting. mean now weights well I like three pound weights I like five pound weights I like eight pound weights I even like a ten pound weight how about these are the weights that are appropriate for me right not the ones I like because they're light these are great. They have rubber tips, so if you happen to drop them on the floor, you're not going to hurt your floor. They're even. <laughs> First of all, if anyone dropped a weight like that on her floor. Yeah, she'd freak, right? Oh, my God. Oh, almost forgot. 
one of my favorite exercise tools. This is a... How many bag. favorites were in this basket? There was two to four. And this does your calves. It is wonderful for doing toe lifts like this. If she does that fast enough, those sneakers might just take off. <laughs> Relevés, they call them in ballet. She it's loves fun. to talk about her. The one word she knows Relevé. in ballet speak. Yeah. This is one of her trademark moves, is the releve. And of course, a really good mat. I work out on my porch, and it is a cold floor. And this Everything really in that house is cold. Yeah, Does she really work out on the porch? It was a heated porch, oh. but at a slate floor, it was very cold. And a bunch of yakking canaries. <laughs> this is a great thing to have. It's a bench. And this is lovely if you're going It's a bench, in case you didn't know. So if you were doing your flies here, your chest presses, oh, and the ring, it's a fabulous, fabulous thing to have. <laughs> Back to the ring. And what's funny about it? I want a magic circle too. You can have mine. So I could do this. Extremely comfortable. You can take your. Isn't that what she does with it? With straight arms. On the bench. Well, like that. The only problem yeah. With having a set of equipment like this in your own home, there are absolutely no excuses for not doing your exercises. Really? But Martha, you could think of so many. <laughs> Cozy corner is what? I don't know. It's the fitness corner. Workout corner? corner? Fitness It's corner. to work out in the corner. With Mr. Rogers. <laughs> With Mr. Rogers. <laughs> How long do you think it takes in one of your relationships for it to be less about sex? I don't think it actually takes that long. I just, once I discover enough about the person, I usually end up not liking them. Wow. Do you think that you need to keep things spicy in your relationship by doing things like getting dressed up and going to dinners or? I think separate vacations keep the marriage strong, the relationship strong. The, really? People not work together. See, People go to the I gym don't think together. Separate vacations. It might work for some couples, and that's great. It wouldn't yeah. work for my husband and me because we would spend the time apart calling each other calling each other and that's not to say i'm not saying we have a perfect amazing oh my god everything's great i'm not saying that it's just not the dynamic of our relationship we have a little bit of codependency i suppose what do you do to keep it spicy <sighs> i guess one of the things that we do yeah. and this is so not your kind of your idea of a good time yeah, what but do you do? sometimes we'll have a babysitter come just so we can shut the door and pretend we're not home, even though we're home. Send the kids out of the house and have the whole house together. That's what the summer's for. Bye-bye, <laughs> yeah. But in terms of keeping things spicy, we'll go, I read somewhere that you're supposed to go do new and different things. Every time my husband and I go to like a different sort of new, place or try to mix it up with people that we're not really friends with or this and that. The two of us get in the car and we're like, oh my God, I gotta get home. Uh, I'll never do that again. I don't ever wanna see another person ever again. And we laugh about it, so maybe that's the... So it's never worked well? Not really, no, never, uh-uh. We just wanna go back to our hovel. Yeah. Well, how do you keep things spicy? <laughs> with, what, what, with who? With what, with you who? Mean, well, I think the correct response is you keep a different guy. Oh. <laughs> How long do you think it takes in one of your relationships for it to be less about sex or other things to matter as much as sex? I don't think it actually takes that long. I just, once I discover enough about the person, I usually end up not liking them. Wow. So and I need a lot of time to myself. I really do. You definitely do. do. You're I not the an only kind. child. I, you know, never really lived with anyone. I need my own time. So maybe keeping it spicy for you or whoever you're with to go away. Yeah, go away and come back. Right, and let you miss him. Just don't be there. Every time I turn around, ah! he's standing there. That's jarring. Yeah, yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. Wow. And I spend each and every morning, as often as I'm able, with my trainer, Lisa Lynn. Wait, I spend... Each and every morning. Wait, listen to the changes. I know. I spend each and every morning. Absolutely every morning, but only as often as I'm able. <laughs>